Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I have a new product review for you. This is a product called Naughty Glow or Natty Glow. The company contacted me and sent me this product to try out for my honest review. And so I've been using this product for two weeks now. It says here right on the product, you can do a two week challenge or on their website, they also give you a lot more information and you can do a one week challenge. I did a one week challenge and what I was doing in the beginning was doing the mask at night and then taking a picture the next morning. I did that for an entire week. I did it for another week during the morning. I put the mask on and then I took an after picture right after I washed it off. So you guys can see the results for yourselves. It's hard because I know what I see in person, but then whatever the camera will pick up, depending on the lighting, um, the where I live, I was trying to take pictures like in front of the window so that I could have just natural lighting because once you have artificial lighting, it can kind of make everything soft and a lot better than it actually looks in reality. So I really tried to stick to that. Um, sometimes within like the next 15 minutes after putting this on or half an hour, um, my lighting would change, the natural lighting would change because either the sun was brighter or there were more clouds or less clouds. So I apologize for that. This is an all natural face mask, which is really wonderful. This is a blend of Naughty Glow Premium Herbs, Kasturi Turmeric, Mangista, I'm sorry if I'm really butchering that. There is no artificial color added to the product. It's cruelty free, it does contain nuts, but it is vegan and it's for external use only, obviously. This is an herbal product, so they suggest that you do an, uh, a patch test first on your skin before you use it. It also says here that Naughty Glow is an Ayurvedic Ayurvedic blend of herbs and has strong antioxidant properties. Used daily for smooth and glowing skin, it cleans pores, combats acne, removes skin blemishes, and reduces pigmentation. For more details, visit naughtyglow.com. I've seen videos of people putting turmeric on their faces as a face mask, which also has really great benefits for your skin and it can kind of leave a yellow tint on your skin. So some people have suggested not you doing it, you know, the day that you're going to be going out, but maybe like the night before, which would be great. What I found with this product is, you know, it includes all of these natural ingredients and you don't have to go out and mix it yourself. Everything is already in here, uh, very convenient for you to use. And also, I didn't notice that it left any tint on my skin. Yes, I have tan skin, but for even for me, and sometimes I would leave this on for a lot longer than uh, 10, 15 minutes just because I was like doing stuff around the house. But uh, even then, I didn't find it to have any type of, leave any tint on my skin. And because of the blend of this face mask, this actually turns red once you mix it with whatever you're mixing. Um, you can mix it with water and on the website it tells you for different skin types, it tells you what you can also mix this face mask with. You can use honey or lemon. I just use water and it worked perfectly and you want to put it into a little container and then add the water and then you can mix it up. And I applied it with a brush and you just, like any face mask, you just brush it onto your skin. You can also brush it onto your neck um, or here, but I just went ahead and put it on my face and I did it in front of my daughter and I had to forewarn her because your face looks red like you have pizza sauce all over it. So rather than scaring her, I just told her mommy's face is going to look like she has pizza face. And so when I put it on, she wasn't scared. And then it tells you to leave it on, you know, whatever amount of time you have to spare, 5, 10, 15 minutes, and then you can wash it off with warm water. Do not leave it on for longer than that. I'm only saying that because it's super, super hard to wash off if you leave it on for too long because it does harden on your face. And then the times that I did that, I had to use a washcloth. And doing that, I caused my skin, it didn't damage my skin at all, but I had to rub pretty hard and so it was a little bit red. And I had to wait for my skin to calm down for me to like put some other stuff on it, like get ready for the day and makeup and everything. So leave it on just until it dries a little bit. Um, but again, not till it hardens completely where it's like really, really stiff on your face. And then just wash it off and 
What I've noticed is it really brightens. I don't really have a lot of blemishes or wrinkles or um, I have a few like freckles and sunspots but really no like acne scars thank goodness I've kind of grown out of that that stage um, but it also says to remove blemishes cleans out pores combats acne and reduces pigmentation the reduces pigmentation part is important for me because I feel like I that's like a major struggle for me is with pigmentation and so it did help with that now the pictures that I'm going to show you here are the series that I took the first week where I was doing the mask at night and then taking a picture the next morning. Again I was trying to get like the most natural light and so you can see here from day one all the way to the last day and again this is just pure natural lighting. I don't know if you can see the difference but I saw the difference in my skin in the mirror and I felt it. It felt really really wonderful to do. And then here are the series of pictures of me doing the face mask in the morning, taking a picture right afterwards. It wasn't like going to, you know, the esthetician and getting a facial and having your skin look amazing um, immediately. The process is slow, that's why they suggest doing a one week or two week challenge because it's not gonna happen overnight, but it was very helpful. I continue to use this um, on a weekly basis. Anyways, even though I'm done reviewing, you know, the two week or one week challenge, but I do use this on a weekly basis and I just love the way my skin looks afterwards. If you guys are interested in getting this product, go to nattyglow.com and look in my description box for more information about it. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave them down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.